Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Infinity QX70S. Uh, then I'll take you for riding it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. And if anybody leaves a comment about me wearing gloves, <laughs> it's absolutely freezing here. It's done 38,783 miles. It's a 3 litre D V6 Ultimate. It's automatic, four wheel drive, 2016 on a 16 plate. MOT until the 9th of 2023. Last serviced at 37,809 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 26.2 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 38.7 miles per gallon. And combined is 32.8 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 8.3 seconds. A top speed of 132 miles per hour. Out of a 235 brake horsepower V6 24 valve engine. Road tax, six months is £198 and 12 months is £360. Right, let me tell you about the car. So, it has keyless entry, keyless go. If you get out of the car, click the button there, locks the doors, come back to it, press the button and that's it open. It does have power folding door mirrors too. The lovely kind of turbo rotor dark silver metallic and diamond cut alloys. It's got high pressure headlamp wash, front parking sensors. It also has the Distronic cruise control, so it will keep you a certain distance from the car in front and break you if you get too close. It's, that's a good system. It's got lane departure warning too, uh, but it, it's got quite an aggressive, um, it feels like it breaks the car and turns the steering wheel. I, that's not something I, I particularly like, but anyway, it's got it has the plastic wheel arch protectors there. I don't know how you describe them. It's, it's, it's like a black, but a, a kind of steel black. So also the matching strips at the bottom there, black door, mirror caps, rear privacy glass. You've got a tilt and slide electric glass sunroof, the roof bar carrier system, integrated rear tailgate spoiler. And normally, there's a bit just plonked on the top, but that's the, the whole back there is one piece. Again, the infinity badge in this kind of shiny black. There must be a special word for it, but I can't think of it. No doubt Shane will tell me in the comments, but it's a shiny black anyway. It's like, I don't know, cobalt or something. The hard rear load cover there, uh, which again folds in or you can just push it back a little bit. Nice flat load area. We've got the uh, chrome or the aluminium protectors here. And that's still got the plastic on, the plastic protection. Reversing camera, reversing sensors, and then you've got this diffuser at the back here and the two big exhausts. Back seats fold independently of each other, and there's the button to uh, put the tailgate down. I've frozen, up, I've frozen up, all my joints have seized up. Lovely in the back here, lovely leather. It's kind of a quilted pattern, but it's straight lines and cross stitched. Um, contrast blue stitching, mats in from, I would say, new. Uh, very, very comfortable seats. The wood trims. Here we go, let's see if I can just pull this down. Can't get hold of it with my gloves. So rear centre armrest, bit of storage space in there, two cup holders, but very, very nice in the back here. It's a big car, it has kind of Porsche Cayenne styling. Uh, very, very nice, well equipped, lovely to drive too. So uh, let's see, I'm sure we've got the Isofix rear Chelsea tanker points here. Somebody needs another cylinder. Anyway, it, it's got absolutely bags of headroom. So uh, really nice, ni nice environment in the back here. Okay, 
I'll just get the heater on and take you for a ride. That's the key, foot on the brake, starter button, and then took the key out of the way somewhere. Let's see. Service history. 5th of 5th, 2017 at 12,571 miles, Infinity, Glasgow. 28th of the 6th, 2019 at 24,819 miles, Virtue Specialist Cars, 13th of the 5th, 2020, at 27,717 miles, Saab, Northern Ireland. 30th of the 9th, 2020, 31,653 miles, JK Cars, Newton Abbey. 19th of the 12th, 2021, at 37,089 miles, DB Automotive. Cars done 38,783 miles now. Oh. I wrote the colour down as well. Shadow, graphite or something. Let's have a look. Graphite shadow. I was nearly right. Very well equipped. Let's just switch that off before we go. Very, very well equipped car. We've got... Uh, let's just see... So that's the tilt and slide sunroof. It's freezing today, so we want that shut. And you can also pull that across like so. Let's get going into drive. Plenty of ground clearance. bright today but very very misty and down there when I was coming up it was clear as anything but you get you get up here in the in the hills and uh, all bets are off so automatic we can knock it over there change up or down like so big the front of the car with this big engine in feels kind of very very well planted um, you, can, you can you can really feel the weight in the front of the car and it kind of noses round corners road's terrible there big 21 inch wheels on this car as well so uh, you, you can kind of feel the road a little bit more. Lots of rubber on the ground. Got paddle shift here as well. Just like so, down on the left, up on the right. This wooden finish, we've, we've got two position electric memory seats just set that one and uh, the actual seats themselves I think it's 14 way but you've got the, the thigh extensions here which you pull out there's just a little catch under the seat but apart from that the there's two switches at the front here and that kind of narrows the seat in hugs you hugs the seat round you at the bottom, then the next one that hugs the top part of you, the seat round you, then there's one at the back, that's for lumbar support, uh, and then your usual backwards and forwards. If I could just find it, so that's that's back like that, and then so electric, and then you've got here electric. Height and reach adjustable, multi-function steering wheel. Uh, 
the uh, lane departure warning. You can knock on and off from here. I always get into trouble for saying this. People say it's a warning, you know, and it's a safety feature. But honestly, if you need that warning, you shouldn't be in a car. You shouldn't be on the road. If you don't know when you're crossing the line, <laughs> then perhaps driving's not your thing. And especially when it turns you back because you don't always have time to indicate. For instance, again, this morning, I set out to come and video this and it was pitch black, it was quarter past six this morning and I live on the guild wheel, lots of cyclists but somebody must have been going to work and he just he just came off the pavement right in front of me and I, and I, I had to swerve to avoid him. <laughs> the lane departure warning, unless I, unless I saw him indicated then swerved to avoid him, the lane departure would have taken me back uh, and, and it is quite aggressive. So, I don't know why they invented that, and, but having said that these days, I don't know why they do a lot of things. Lovely engine. The pheasant there. Plenty of power. I'm just going to turn that. The fan is just making a, a slight hiss and probably be picked up on the cameras, which I don't want. Your headlights indicate your indicators on the left and your headlights. Wipers are on the right. Uh, there's lots of switches all over. For instance, there's uh, just here, you can change rev counter on the left, information display in the center, speedo on the right, temperature gauge on the left, coolant temperature gauge left bottom, and fuel gauge bottom right. The information display in the center, that's controlled from here. And you can also do things like reset your, your tire pressure, well, not reset your tire pressures, but reset the tire pressure monitor system um, and certain alerts. Over here, you'll see here, at the moment I've got the fuel economy screen on. I did reset it when I set off this morning, but <laughs> then it's been ticking over while I've uh, been uh, photographing it. So the fuel economy is not showing that fantastic. that it was uh, way up towards the 30s before I reset it. Another brilliant idea. <laughs> I forget who suggested that in the comments, but <laughs> that's why I didn't do it before. Um, you've got heated seats here, and I think they're heated and cooled seats. If I turn that over there, that looks like it's blue there and red there, so I'm assuming that's, that cools the seats as well but at the moment I, don't, I want it as hot as it can possibly be. Just in the centre you've got sport. Um, that, now it's showing sport shock absorbers or, or sport suspension. So uh, I did find it unusual, it's just drive down here and I couldn't see a sport, but you've got auto there and sport. And I, I couldn't, on the way up here I couldn't tell whether the engine um, revs were changed when I clicked sporting. So I don't know whether it actually kind of remaps the, the accelerator, the throttle. So we'll, we'll just go with just sport suspension. But again, too firm, into auto, brilliant.
don't know what that was beeping then. I think we'll just go back. Skip, skip. Back to Miles per gallon there. Seats are lovely and comfortable, very, very well padded. And uh, I said before, I think blue contrast stitching, but it actually looks kind of lilac um, in this light now. I'm going to slow down across these cattle grids because I've got a GoPro on the, on the side and it didn't feel like it was stuck on all that well. Bags of power in it, bags of low end torque. Nice padded front centre armrest with some space inside. Let me see if I. Uh, there's two catches there, so if I do that. Or that that's it so two catches the catch on the left lifts everything up the catch on the right leaves you with a little kind of jewelry box sort of thing or perhaps a there's a, a soft finish on the bottom of it at the bottom of the tray put your phone in there does give you the sensation of a, a sort of Porsche outlook with the the you know the the wings kind of raised up lots of buttons over here you've got sat nav you've got Bluetooth hands free you have Bluetooth audio streaming too I think it has Bose speakers. The, the actual sound system is um, tremendous. Looking like we're just getting some drips off the trees. We've got a Cayenne who obviously wants to go faster than I want to go today. Oh, he's trying to shove me along. We all know, we all know how that works. Good luck with that. As soon as I find a place, I'll let him go past. We know what Porsche drivers are like. Nice, sweet gear change there, just as I slowed down. Some automatic boxes get a bit confused and you have to help them along, but that did change when I needed it. No need to resort to paddles. Over on the right hand side at the bottom, there's a couple of switches. One of them is to knock the stop start off, I think. Just put this display when I can see where I'm going and make sure there's nothing coming here. So I'll just put the display on map. Yeah. This is a touch screen as well. I should have pulled over there actually and let this chap past. I'm going to do it here, I'm going to pull over here. Let him go. 
and I'm also going to see if my camera's still there. It is. It was. It was only. Uh, it was only videoing the the wheel and the forward view. So it it looks like it's absolutely full of condensation and 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 muck. It's it's not view's not going to be worth anything. But um, I forgot that. I must take a photograph of that while I remember. So you've got the view that looks like there's a drone hovering above you there. You can see there there's quite a big drop down there so I'm quite grateful of it. Now I'm not so frightened of my GoPro dropping off. Even though that one's pretty useless anyway. Those of you who watched the last video and Notice me two GoPro minis that I bought a couple of weeks ago aren't, aren't here. Uh, both of them failed. I've had to send them back. And GoPro sent me uh, a returns label. I dropped them off at the UPS office on Saturday. Tuesday, the UPS driver came to the office and uh, gave me my boxes back, returned them because the return labels had got zero value on them, which is the ones that GoPro sent me, and you can't send anything out of the country apparently with zero value, so. <laughs> and the two new GoPros that I've ordered, which I had to pay for, they've, uh, they're delayed. And just I don't know just to uh, prove my point two GoPros have just gone off for no reason right no Seatbelt warning. How are we doing on other GoPros? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's zero degrees outside now. It's at freezing point outside. And my GoPros have overheated. I, it seems to me today that, that some people take a pride in being useless. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely useless. <laughs> it's, it's like a badge of honour. Every time you do anything or need something doing, you have to do it three times. Um, Funnily enough, at Citroen, I've, I've rung Citroen up three times. I've got a Citroen Ami come in. I've rung them up three times. Uh, we'll, we'll get back to you. Do they get back to you? No. And the worst thing is, if you get a guy, you know that 
they're not going to, you know they're not going to get back to you. If you say they're going to get back to you, they don't. You get a woman, sure enough, to ring you back. Is that sexist? I don't know. I, th I think, I think all the people that I've ever worked with who were really, really good at the job and who excel at the job and make it look easy, they've all been women. Proper women. These lots of little pheasants, beautiful things. I'm not sure whether you can hear the engine, but it, uh, it gives internal combustion engines give you confidence when I can hear something. I know when it's running right. I know to stop if there's any problems or, or if I hear something that's not quite right, I know to take it for a service. With electric cars, what do you do? <laughs> I'm probably the only way you can tell if there's anything going wrong with them is you, you get a burning smell and then you have to get out of the car quick. Lovely car, this, and it's such good value for money because, again, if if you were to buy, if you were to get a Range Rover of this spec, with this sort of engine, you'd be paying a lot more money, and it's 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 okay. Um, right, we're going to struggle here. We need to get back. I need to go in this water. Hopefully, the water is not about 50 foot deep. And we've got this here, look, we can see. That felt like I was going down a big hole. We'll wait for this other one to come. I was watching a video. <laughs> Here's me worried about going down a little hole here. I was watching a video on YouTube the other day about some guy <laughs> reversing on a pass where it was like a, a thousand foot drop and he had to do a, like a a 50 point turn to go back the other way. I'm waiting for a car coming here, which I saw, but he might be waiting for me. I don't know. Perhaps he's gone off the, perhaps he's gone off the edge. Or we're gonna meet just at the brow of this hill because he saw me come in. Ah, uh, oh right, no, he's, he's waiting too. can't beat the farming type community for manners. People who live in the country. The nearer you get to a town centre, the more ignorant people get. Ah, oh, well, that's it. That's it. Another beautiful car, and I'll just tell you a quick story. We we took this in off a chap. Um, he'd always had Range Rovers. We had a 4.4 Range Rover Vogue, and he, he he came down from Scotland, brought his mate down, and uh, loved the car. I'd seen the video, loved the car. Left us a, a lovely review too. Um, part exchange this, and then. He, he, he booked a local hotel for the night for him and his mate, and then he invited me and John out for a meal at night to thank us. And, you know, I, I mean, <laughs> I was kind of overwhelmed that, hey, somebody would want to go out for, for dinner and, and, and 
you know, he wouldn't take any money for it either. So that tells me that if anything goes wrong with his car, he's not worried about money. He's going to look after it. He knew what he was talking about as well. And he's got a collection of 34 other cars um, and, and motorbikes and some really, really good ones. He's got a couple of the old electric ones, you know, the, the, the tiny ones. One electric car that used to belong to Morris Gibb out of the Bee Gees. So, you know, people like that. Gentlemen too. Um, mate was in the Navy, retired from the Navy, proper people. So that's the sort of people we like. We, you know, we, we like to take cars off because we know they'll look after it. But anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da.